you know that really blissed out state that you get um, after you've exercised but you might be like in the kitchen the idea of putting you know clothes on and all the rest that are uh, you know and go outside or get some weights or whatever too hard just hang in the kitchen do what I do all right so this is all you have to do okay firstly just you know you can do this with bare feet right you don't need to have any special equipment you don't need to have anything you can just uh, knees up knees up knees up knees up knees up knees up now if knees up is too much right? step 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 yeah just like that move your arms too move your arms too and if you can do a little like little swizzle yeah because that that turns on your abs yeah then you're um, warming up your hips and you're warming up your abs um, if you can knees up knees up it's, up. it's one of my favorite ways to work out, um, like warm up and get a little bit of puff going on. You know, it's just so good for you. All right, um, I like arm exercises because I feel like they do a lot. So just lean against the bench and push up. Now, the uh, further away from the bench you are with your toes, the harder it is, okay? So take a deep breath in and breathe out as you push down. So you do 15 of these. So let's do them together. Five, four, three, two, one, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, don't forget to breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. We haven't been anywhere near a gym. We haven't been anywhere near a gym, and we just done 15 push-ups, all right? We're already winning. We've done a little bit of bounce, we've got a little bit of breath up, so we're doing well. All right, I love standing abs, because standing abs means that you don't actually, uh, you know, have to get down on the ground. Sometimes getting down on the ground for me is really, really hard. Um, you know, when I was particularly sick recently, um, you know, when I'd lost a lot of uh, when I put a lot of weight on, it was really, it took a lot to get down, so don't get down. You don't have to, okay? Especially on my kitchen floor. Ooh. Um, so this is a little tiny move, right? It doesn't look very effective, but it does this. It gets you this really nice little uh, slim V. So like a little line down there, yeah? Um, so arms out, and it's just like you're uh, rocking on the top of a table. So this top bit, like, right, your nipples are on a table. Nipples are on a bench or a table, and they're just going side to side. Um, and you can do like a little double, <laughs> little double. I feel very um, aerobics on this, but I can tell you it really works. So two, 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 just do this. Arm down, and just shuffle, shuffle. Um, one side to the other, one side to the other. Keep your hips still, because the idea is to stretch those muscles. Right? You can do whatever you want with your arms. I just like to put them out because you know, if you want, you can kind of feel like you're getting pushed to the side and you know, do this sort of, um, you know, like a mime and flex your arms, right? Because then you're working out your arms too. Yeah, you can do this if you want, but um, I'm not that coordinated, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so those little side to side things, very effective, really good at getting that nice V. All right, um, there are a couple of really simple uh, ab exercises. This is, a, this is a crunch, this is a crunch, without like pulling your neck or doing anything silly like that. Um, I tend to always just put my hand up here, sort of instinctively, because you know I used to box, or I still box. So, you know, gut up, right? So, this knee is, is um, uh, what's called um, soft. You don't want to like pull it up. You need it to be soft so that you can be nice and light on your feet there. You can see, I'm kicking the back of my um, cupboards here. It's okay. You can do this in a tiny little small space and it's not loud either. If you're in an apartment or whatever, this is super, super quiet. So let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, let's do the other side. We've got two sides, two elbows, two knees. Let's go. Soft knee, one, two, we'll do 20. Three, four, five, six, seven. We've done push-ups. We've done um, sit-ups, basically, without lying down on the ground. We've got um, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. We've done all of that without even like going anywhere near a gym. Ah, Stevie's just saying hi. All right. Um, this is very effective, this exercise, in this inside bit of your legs. So it may not look like it, but from this angle here, but you can see my heels are off the ground, right? You've got a bench here, just hold on to it. If you can balance, and balance, you know, show off a bit and balance. Um, you don't have to, you can if you want. A little bit harder if you try and balance. Don't um, stress about putting a finger on a bench, right? Um, the idea is to keep your hips up, uh, sorry, your heels up and your hips sort of a little bit forward. Uh, so let's go, we'll go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Siri keeps going, stop Siri, uh, where are we, 5, oops, 4, 3, 2, 1, oh, that's good, okay, let's go down into that squat, right, and just little bounces, so 20, 19, 18, 17, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up, oh, little shake, okay, we've been like 6 minutes and 37 seconds, we've done a bunch of uh, push-ups, we've done some reverse um, crunches, and we've uh, worked out our legs, right, done a wicked squat, we've also done, you know, tabletop abs, so we get that nice fine line. Okay, um, another favorite. Uh, these ones are really good because um, they combine a bunch of things at once, and they do that in a thigh. Again, use, use your bench here, um, use your bench. So this front foot, um, front knee, is soft, yeah? Don't hold it, don't, don't make your leg all straight, um, just Keep it nice and bent, and we're going forward and back. And if you want, you can try and balance here. <laughs> but um, one finger on the bench is not gonna hurt you. Okay, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10, in the thighs. <sighs> Where are we? 14, <sighs> 16, 18, look, I can count in twos. And 20, other side. Oh, so you can turn around if you want, whatever you want to do. Just uh, try and keep this foot, if you can, which I've just remembered, flexed. So what that means is like that, not pointed, uh, flexed. So we're going around and back and around and back and around and back. Now remember, I'm not an instructor, so all care, no responsibility. If anything hurts, stop immediately. Just stop, okay? It's not worth it. Standing in the kitchen, we just chilling out, getting a really good little vibe on, you know. We're at eight minutes, 20 seconds, and we've done almost a full body workout, right? Wicked, wicked workout. Um, all right, two more, one and two, excellent. All right, let's get a little puff up and a little burn. We're gonna go down and up, down and up, down and up. Now, again, hold on to that bench if you need to. So we're going one foot behind in a curtsy, and then we're pulling up. So that, what that does again is reverse. Stop it, Steve. Stop it. You're okay. Um, <laughs> Siri's gonna go again. So down and up, and down and up. Again, you can balance if you want, or one finger on a bench is not gonna hurt you. Down and up, and remember to pull the knee in. <laughs> you know, this is life, right? Remember to keep that knee soft. Okay. So, we've got five, four, three, two, pull it up, one, and other side, okay? So we're gonna do 12 on this side, 12 on the other side. It's roughly that, okay? Don't get too worried about like counting. If you want, just watch this. Just put it in your ears and go, okay, now I'm curtsying and I'm um, putting my left leg at this point behind my, um, behind my slightly bent knee and I'm gonna pull up into that um, reverse crunch, pulling my knee to my nipples, knee to nipples, knee to nipples. Okay, seven, eight, six, five, standing leg burning, four, enjoy it, three, I'm kidding, two, 
You look quite wonderful and you'll jump out of bed. And one more. One more up. Okay. Little shake, little shake, little shake. Okay. Um, let's hold on to the bench. Right. Um, fire hydrants. So what these do is they do all of your legs, right? Um, if you want, you can do a little bit of a lean so that you're holding on to the bench and then you're doing your arms as well. Yeah, let's be efficient. Okay, so you're leaning against your bench, you're lifting, in this case, left knee up, and you're just swiveling it around. So we're gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, uh, five more. Let's go. Five, four, three, that standing knee is a little bit, two, one, nice and soft as I said. Okay, now that you've got your leg up there, might as well just keep it up there. Straighten your back, make sure your um, uh, hip, hip uh, bones are flat to the ground, yeah? And pointed to the ground. And we're just gonna go up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Point your toe if you want, and you can get up on your toe that's on that standing leg. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and pull it up and hold it. Okay, so knee up to your chest. Um, if you can, that standing leg, go up on your toe. I know you can't see it kind of from this angle. That's what you're doing. So one, one toe is <laughs> in the air, or heels in the air, toes up, and the other foot is flexed and you're holding it in. And if you can, you can stand up nice and straight. Four, three, two, one. A little hold, and that standing leg, that burns your standing leg, not the other one. Okay, so remember, little lean if you want and you've got room um, make sure you don't have any stones on the dish on the uh, dishes on the stove here three four we're going to do the other side so circle so like a fire hydrant yeah like a dog at a fire hydrant sorry about that imagery <laughs> but there it is it's very effective um okay where are we eight nine ten five more five four three two i'm going to push down a little bit more one, okay, hold it out there, right? And get up onto your toe, that standing leg. Now you uh, can engage that front thigh and kind of hold it um, steady, standing leg. And then little one, <laughs> move forward, little up an inch, down an inch. So right leg, point your toes, that's um, both, both feet. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one, don't drop, five more, four, three, two, one. Okay, don't drop. Keep up on your toes, that standing leg. And if you can, just a little bounce towards the bench here. Keep that knee up. Standing toe, standing toe up. Two, three, four, belly dancers, five, six, seven, eight. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Nine, point the toes. 10 and down. Oh. We are at 13 minutes and 22 seconds, and we've basically done every exercise. You know, we've worked everything, everything. Um, okay, one quick arm one, and then we're done. 15 minutes, we've been standing in the kitchen, and we've just got shit done, right? Because we're efficient like that. Okay, so tricep dips. Um, this is what makes the back of your arms look less lunge lady, all right? Um, the further away from the bench you are, the harder they are. If you want, you can put your heels up, and you can Drop down. I'm not going to do that. My shoulders are a bit sore today. I'm going to put my feet flat and just down and up. So, one, two. Always listen to your body. Always listen to mine. I have to. There's no choice. No choice. Because you're not well. No one's well in your house, right? Okay. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Little hip thrust um, forward. Seven. Six. Weight on your hands. Five. Four three, breathe, two, and one. We've met 14 minutes and 26 seconds. All right, elbow crease to elbow crease, and you're also gonna stretch your legs. So, lean against the um, lean against the bench there a little bit, and you're gonna cross, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna cross your knees uh, like you would be sitting down in a chair, and cross your arms at the same time, so let's be efficient about this. All right, thumb down, thumb down on that shoulder stretch, and just move up until you can feel it. Slide down your dishwasher until you can feel that stretch in your quad. Really nice, especially if you're sitting down. We're exactly at 15 minutes. 
We're gonna go like 20 seconds over just to do this little stretch and feel fantastic at the end of it. Okay, slide down your dishwasher, back nice and straight, um, hand up, elbow down. Ah, stretch that, stretch that, stretch it. Two, three, four, five, and up. And shake, 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 shake. Roll, there you have it. 15 minutes, 30 seconds. You've been in the kitchen anyway. You've got a heap done. You've got abs, arms, shoulders, legs, butt, thighs, everything. And you are ready to like cook some pasta. Well done. Now, if you're on YouTube, socials, whatever, don't be selfish, right? Share, like, subscribe, tap that little bell thing if there's one there, tap a little thumb. I really, really value it, I really appreciate it. And you're helping other people. Thank you.